We're just going for birdies today. We're gonna to play super aggressive and see what we can do. Tour pro James Nicholas has played in a combined over 40 events on the PGA Tour and Corn Ferry Tours. And he's also recently earned his full tour card status on the DP World Tour. So clearly James has what it takes to take on some of the world's hardest golf courses. But the question we have is, what would a tour pro like James shoot on a normal public golf course just like this one where regular golfers like you and I play every single week? Today, we're gonna find out. So I always, I always check the wind. Um, so let's see, you got the weather channel. Nothing fancy. Shows uh, 15 miles an hour west-northwest. So then I go here to my compass, mm -hmm. and then west-northwest is dead in. So hole number one, dead in. And again, we're playing this course for the second time, so I've played it before, but I don't really know where everything is. So a little course GPS. Yeah. If I hit driver 325, it'll leave me 66 yards in, but it's into the wind and super soft, so probably going right around 285 to 295. Again, that's probably the play, but again, we're just going for birdies today. We're gonna to play yeah, super aggressive and see what we can do. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing safe. I'm just gonna hit driver everywhere and what see what we can hear. do. This so, is what we want to hear. yeah. Take you out of your comfort zone. It's a good, good, <laughs> good pressure practice for uh, Q School. All right, so we're gonna play the whites because we want you to play from our tees to yep. see what you can do. Let's do it. All right, so no blues today. We're not tipping them out. We're going 6200, not 68. Stay there. Woo. Hmm. All right. Bring the trees a little left, we'll go find it. Brought a little bit of everything with you, huh? I mean, <laughs> I needed it. <laughs> All right, let's see. 116. Now we gotta go through options. So we can hit a low one and bump it up to the front of the green. Or we can be a little riskier and try to go under, under, over, draw. So I'm gonna try to go up under this little thing and then over those other branches and through this little gap and then try to draw it and carry the bunker. I mean, kind of a risky play, but like, say I don't pull it off, I think it'll still get past those trees and I'll be able to have a chance to get up and down. Mm -hmm. So my risk reward, I think is worth it. We'll see. Doable, got it. Okay, middle of the green. There you go. Ah, oh, clipped a little branch, but, oh, Got thank you. Yard sale. I always, oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is what car path only does to you. Yep. How about, about that recovery? recovery? Dude, I don't do that. Nine times out of 10, I fail, I hit the tree. Actually, 10 out of 10, I don't do that. Incredible. <laughs> All right, these greens look a little bit better than the practice green, so this first putt a little bit, a little bit of a guess. Yeah. But uphill, so it should equal out to like a flat putt in that practice green. A little right to left. You think and make yeah. here? No, you're just getting it close. No, well, I mean, I'm not thinking anything. I'm just thinking about my line and my pace, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever happens, happens. If I'm not thinking, oh, it's a lag putt, and I'm not thinking, oh, it's make it. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm trying to hit this, and then from there, how much space I need for it. Go, go a little. All okay. right. Okay, not too bad on his first guess of the day. Honestly, take this. I thought when I hit it, it was 10 feet by. <laughs> From Pine Valley to Spook Rock, the James Nicholas story. Mm. That's a bogey. Okay. All right. We'll get that out of your system. Always good. Always good to start the bogey in the first. Just lowers expectations. Now yeah. we can go play some golf. Let's go. All right. What's the strategy? What are you firing here? So I'm just shooting those trees, honestly, because we're we're playing a little further up than I'm normally used to. And there's OB. If I hit it straight, so I got to pick a line, but I don't know how far right. So if we go too far right. I'm in the middle of the trees on the right. Again, this course is kind of tricky off the tee. You gotta hit the fairways. So I'm trying to just find out where my fairway is. That should be good. So I think my drive was pretty good. I didn't know this tree overhangs the fairway. I think I just hit it and bounced straight backwards. So a tee shot only went about 230, 240. <laughs> but um, four into the green, we got 235 pin. Try to hit a big high cut. Yeah, it's pretty much nothing to it. I got a little bit of a mud ball, so the mud's on the left. It's gonna make the ball go right. So it should help a cut, but hopefully I don't overdo it. It wins off left as well. No word, okay, all right. <laughs> it's probably up there somewhere chipping. No help. What are you up there looking for a landing area? Yeah, just trying to see what the green's looking like. Feeling it, see how firm it is. Um, I'm on a wet bare patch, which actually makes it pretty difficult. I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna try to land this right in that, that sand patch on the green. 
have it just take a little bit of a hop forward and left. Sit, 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 sit. Carried it a little bit too far, but gotta put at it. So what's your approach for reading greens, especially if it's a course you haven't played much yeah, of? Yeah, um, I, I trust my feet. I don't do aim point with my fingers, but I will get in here. All right, I'm walking up, I'm seeing obviously it's downhill. Some are less obvious than others, this one's pretty obvious. And I'll get the first third of the putt. It's going a little bit right. Second third, or middle half. Again, going a little bit right. And then the final third, a little bit straighter, but still going a little bit right. So then I'll just flop it, just reconfirm. Okay, so it's going a little bit to the right, down the hill. Again, these greens are slow, but it's still downhill. So I'm gonna play like a flat putt um, if I was back home. And then I just, I reconfirm with my eyes. So I'm gonna look at it and just double check, okay, is what my eyes are seeing, what my feet felt? Yes. Um, again, normally on these really slow, grabby greens, I don't play as much break as I would as a really fast green. So I'm gonna cut my read in half and then roll it in. Yeah. All right, bumpy greens. Boy. Learn from every putt, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, I think we're gonna have a lot of different ones out here today, like that one, yikes. <laughs> yeah. So with that water coming in at 313, that takes driver out, right? Yeah, exactly. I'll hit a little three wood, it'll stay well short of that. Okay. And then leave me a little wedge in. Love it. What a shot. That is primo real estate down there, my man. Nice All right, shot. finally hit a fairway. Let's go. So this is where you want to be? Yeah, this will do. Got 68 yards in. 68 um, yards. Looks like there's a little bit of a left or left to right slope on the green. So yeah. Okay. Try to hit in there close. Let's go. Sit. 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 Spin. Ah. Get it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's gotta feel good, right? Oh, nice, finally. Nice job. There we go. All right, back to even, baby. First part three coming up. All right, we got one uh, 85 downwind. No, we'll knock down seven. Be at it, baby. Be at it. Softly. All right. Yeah. Thanks. All right. All right, putting through this fringe. Leave that be... pin in, right? Yeah, you can leave it in. It'll be very slow, but again, a little left to right. Try to make it. Ah, all right, three. Okay, take the three Just and Just grabbed it through that fringe there. All right, James, this is one of my favorite holes on this course because us amateurs always get tempted by the 299 we see on the card from the whites as the crow flies over these trees to the green. That's something we could try today. Oh yeah, yeah, I yes. mean, it's into the wind, so I don't know if I can get it all the way there, but okay. it'll be up around there hopefully. Okay. Uh, leave myself a good chip. All right, you guys heard it, he's going for it. The spook rock. Fifth hole challenge here. Yeah. Yeah. Get left, I hope get left, that's not left. too much. <laughs> nah, it's just gonna be a little bit too far right. All right. <laughs> Dude, great shot. Thanks. All right, James a little blocked out. He's got a tree here. He pushed that drive a little too far. Up and over, right? Yeah, I mean, this is just one I'm trying to just get on the green. Okay. Um, gotta go straight vertical and... What do you got, a 60 or? I have 62 degree. 62 degree. It's sitting down a little bit um, with some mud on it. So I just got, again, Get it straight vert, and let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's let it rip. Uh, it's gotta go. Go, go, go. Oh, so close to being great. Yeah. All right. Okay. Chipping a putt. Chipping a putt. All right, we're just trying to get this high and soft. It's all downhill, so try to land soft. it just in that. It's interesting. I can go either on the green or I can carry it on the fringe. We'll go pretty close to that line. Try to go high and soft. Could be really nice. Good touch. Good touch. Settle. All right, just like that, he's gonna get his par and move on. Nice. All right, good four. Okay, par. On to this. So we got a little par five here. Wind's off the right. We're far. We're further up than normal, so everything just gets a little goofy, right? It gets tighter where the landing area is. But again, if you had a good drive, you're way further up there. So we're aiming right at that big rock, and I'm gonna try to hit a little fade into the wind, have it straighten out, land in the middle of the fairway. Good.
Didn't hear anything. I think that one, I mean, it should be good. Should I don't know. Good. Let's see if we got through. You'd be in good Let's shape. See. All right, this is nothing fancy here. Just punching out. Yep. I uh, thought I actually hit a decent drive, but I mean, again, that rock was 250, so I must have just smacked this tree again. But this is what it is. Get to work on my wedge game. Yeah. Try to hit a little low hook. Um, I'm not going to be super greedy with this because, like, what am I going to get out of it? Right. Nothing. What's 10 more yards? Thanks. 99 yards, wind's here, so in off the right. It's pretty soft. If I hit my 58 degree, it's gonna rip back. So I'm gonna hit my 52 degree, which is my 105 swing, and it'll play a little lower, and hopefully not rip back as much. So again, 105 swing for me here, I think with the wind in too, it's gonna be perfect. That's it, that's it, that's it. Mm. Not my best effort. But we gotta putt at it. Let's go roll it in. Alright, boy. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. We almost lost the cart. Alright, so big breaking putt. I mean I'm feeling upwards of two, three percent. It's gonna come in sideways, but again, the screens are really slow, so I cut that in half. Um, just picturing in where I want this ball to come in from. It's coming in from there, so I'm drawing that apex up to there. That's my start line and let it fall in from there, okay. Wow. Oh. Just a little bump in that last third. Everything so far has been pretty tight off the tee. This one looks like a little wider. What are yeah, your thoughts? Yeah, this, this, this one's a little wider, um, but again, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to hit it because there are trees in the right where my driver goes. Usually, if I was further back, it'd, it'd be wider because there's a gap, but I'm just trying to keep it right of that purple tree. So where the guy in the orange is hitting right now, try to set a little fade off that. The wind's working that way too, so yeah, try to give myself a little 70, 70 80 yard shot in here and hope make some birdies. We gotta start making some birdies. Let's do it. Actually, no, no, no. Stick to the process, just keep executing shots and whatever happens, happens. There That's you the mindset. You can't <laughs> jump to the conclusion. That's right. Just hit this in the fairway and go from there. We do like making birdies though. The, yeah, <laughs> if that happens to be the end result, that would be fantastic. Right. <laughs> Keep cutting. That was a good shot down Keep there. Cutting. Oh yeah. Cut. All right. Thank you. So James, before you were talking about how you practice different ways, you, you switch tees, you play the front tees, the back tees, different ways to practice. What is that like? Yeah, when I'm playing, just think some things to spice it up, you know, go up to the red tees. Um, so this is when I was you know, younger. Mm -hmm. I would go up to the red tees until I broke par. Then go one tee back, yeah. you know, break par. Next tee back until you go to the back tees. And that just teaches you to make birdies, teaches you to go low. I and also teaches you to hit tighter drives, right? I mean, if you're drive, trying to drive the green in a lot of these holes, it's gonna be much, much tighter than if you're going back and hitting to the fat of the fairway, so. That's true. Just, just one way to get better. Yeah, and I gotta assume that different tees will force different situations. Exactly. Stuff you're like not used to, yeah. things like that, so. It's a way to play the course you play all the time in different ways. There you go. All right, I'm gonna try that. I'm moving up to the reds from now on, guys. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I mean, you're used to 200 plus yards out on tour. Yeah, I mean, last time I played this hole, I hit a five iron. <laughs> now I'm hitting a little bit of a nine iron just because it's into the wind off the right. Um, 145 shot, trying to knock it down. And yeah, front pin, let's start getting some looks out of here. Okay. Be on it. Sit. Be sit, on it. Sit, 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. This wind's tough to judge. Yeah, it really is. Oh. Ooh. Broke. Okay. Good Thank bar. you. All right, rounds like these are very frustrating. Uh, you feel like you should be doing you know, a lot better than you are, whether you're playing bad, but again, you can't let that spiral into a worse score. So we're just gonna try to reset, refocus. We got 10 holes left, we can try to go low and uh, or try to execute and see what happens. It's fun watching James, because he just really does play a completely different game than us. I mean, the power that he has, it just, it changes the course. It's absurd. You think you flew into here? Oh uh, no, I'm just I'm just next to the bunker. Oh, there you are. Oh yeah. Okay. He almost made the green, folks. Break. Look at this touch. Wedge and all. Ah. Uh, That's it. One, <laughs> one under, head and a ten. All right. We made a bird. Let's go. All right, James. Back now. Another one that turns hard to the right. What's the yeah. What's the play here? Well, this is you know, this is what I was talking about earlier when I said you know these. 
public tracks might be short, but they're actually really tricky because, I mean, if this was determined, I'd hit probably a five iron out there, have a wedge in, but we're hitting drivers. So we're gonna try to hit a big high cut driver around the corner, um, probably have hopefully 40, 30 yards in, um, and then chip it close and make the butt. Try. That's the plan. After we wait about 10 minutes, it's Yeah, we've, we've got probably 20 minutes. So we, <laughs> obviously we got here when they were still on the tee and the first guy hit it out of bounds and then he hit another one out of bounds and he just dropped. And the three other guys, yeah. We that's got a public little, course for you. We got that's a little it. bit of time, yeah, but it's all right. All. It's a beautiful day, so it could be in worse places. James' pace of play is incredible. He played the last hole in about a minute and a half. <laughs> I guess that's the benefit when you're driving it almost to the green, chip and putt, and you're out. So that would be, I mean, not on the green, but it's, it'd be a good spot. Pretty much what I was trying to do. Um, short left of the green, little wedge, not close. Love when a plan comes together. The lie is really bad, so it's gonna have no spin. So it should, even though it's really soft, run out a little bit further. I could open the face up and swing a little harder, which would make it a little bit more consistent. The tough shot would be to swing slower and try to hit a little bump and run just because there's so much grass, like I said. Yeah, um, grass so to have a lot to, of things, right? Yeah, so I think I'm gonna play a little bit higher, try to carry that first slope, and then let it just trickle down to the right and give us a putt at it. Yeah, that's not good. Really tough to judge at that thing, but you gotta putt at it. Let's go roll it in. Okay. Yes! All right. Well Got, one. Done. Got another one. Let's start getting some closer birdie looks now. Thanks. James is two under through 10. He's heating up, he birdied the last two holes. I think something's clicked in his game. I think this is it. He's got a par five here that's like 460 yards. This is just like the weirdest hole ever, in yeah. my opinion. You, it, I mean, you kind of need to play a draw, but I don't really like playing a draw. Okay, we actually don't need to play a draw. We can hit straight. Yeah. Come on, wind. Come on, move it a little Masa bit. Skierda. Move it a little bit left. I think you're gonna be just fine. I think it'll be good. Yeah, great shot. Probably in the rough again, like yeah. every single hole, but. Probably is, that's why this <laughs> hole is quirky. All right, this might be the trickiest tee shot on the course. And you're in great spot here. I think I lost my eight iron. Really? So that's good. When did you use it last? Oh we boy, can go let's back see. and get it. Clipped a little branch, but. Oh, thank you. Yard sale. I always, oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is a carpet. Eight iron down. Somebody hopefully picked it up behind us. So we're going seven iron, 165. Kind of takes our decision out of our, uh, <laughs> the decision out of their hands. So now we're just gonna knock down seven, try to hit a low cut around this tree. That's it, softly. All right, eagle putt, let's My, go. Mike likes it up there, he's got his fists in the air. <laughs> <laughs> should be, we should, like any eagle should putt. Should be decent, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly. That was, it was probably the play. Maybe an eight iron would have been better just because it was a flyer lie. But if you I mean, had one, it's probably my closest approach shot of the day. So we'll take it. Yep. Right to left. Again, check it with my eyes. It's slightly downhill. Should break in here at this very end. Mm. Thanks. All right. Didn't hit it hard enough. I didn't hear what he was saying because I was all the way up here, but uh, did he purposely fly into the green a little left because he saw it moving to the right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said I can't. He, hit, he didn't have his eight iron, so he hit a low seven iron cut and let it just kind of hit the left side of the green and roll up. <laughs> it's a whole different level, man. It's, it's crazy. Good. It's crazy. It's too good. All right, so strategy wise, you've birdied three holes in a row. I mean, this, this is probably, is it a reachable for you? It's 3.30, um, so, but I gotta hit this really well. Yeah. Again, it's soft, so it's just, every, everything is going wherever it lands. Um, so let's yeah. just hit as far as we can and try to flip a wedge I'm up there. I'm gonna try to roast this thing. Got it, uh, the strategy. Normally I wouldn't try to do that because it tends to go everywhere when I do that, but uh -huh. we're gonna try. Okay. That is a good looking ball, James. Go ball, get up there. Dude, you nuked it. Okay. Get it, yes! All right. Four in a row, baby, let's go. Harder than it should have been. We'll take it though. Yeah. All right, as we approach the signature hole, James just made four birdies in a row. He's in a groove. My man is on the birdie train and he's feeling good. 
with uh, with six holes left, could he birdie out? I don't know. I think it could happen. So on a tee shot like, shot like this, do you try to purposely fly it past the hole and suck it back to be below the hole, or what's the strategy? I mean, I, I don't know this green well enough to really have that like thought. I mean, it looks like there's a subtle slope from back to front, yep. and if, if that's the case, I won't throw it back there because none of my shots have spun today. They've kind of, when it's super soft and saturated, the ball just kind of plops. Yeah. It's in that intermediate when it actually rips back. Got so. it, got it. Um, and they're also very, they're slow, so they're not gonna actually get momentum to come back. And again, you wanna be putting from below the hole, preferably, but I mean, they're, so, they're slow enough where above the hole is not that dangerous, right? right? You still can hit it. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm just trying to honestly land this in like that six foot circle and have, hopefully it stays in there. And if not, figure it out and go hit the next one. Love it. All right. Ooh, short. Short. See, that's where I'm talking with the wind. I, th I felt yeah. like that was supposed to be down. I hit a nine iron for 145, which is, it's my 160 club. I didn't hit it full, obviously, but just misjudged. But let's go try to chip it in. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I thought it was it. I thought you had it. It didn't break at all. That's, wow. That's a, that's a great chip. Oh, thanks. Jeez, man. Oh. oh I thought that was it. Me too. Woo! Me too. Yeah, wind's in off the right. I feel like I've said that a lot today. It's in off the right, but um, yeah, and straightforward. I'm seeing my target, try to hit it. Play a little fade into the wind and try to get down there. Yep. Okay. All right, well, you shortened up this long par four well here. Yeah, I'll take it. It was 415. We got 108 to a back pin. So I'm gonna try to hit a little lower one. When it pins back, I don't like throwing it up in the air because it tends to go long more often than not. So we'll hit a little lower one, keep it low, hopefully bounce and then stop. I know Frank, I'm sorry, Mike wants to see a uh, saucy one, but this isn't gonna have a lot of spin on it. <laughs> sorry to disappoint you, Mike. Yeah, sorry, buddy. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Like you said, they just kind of plopped today, you know? Yeah, I mean, that one I just didn't carry it far enough back, so right. it is what it is. I need to hit it harder. It's those back pins, it's, it's tough to get yourself to mentally hit it all the way back there. I felt like I hit a good shot, and then I saw in the air just getting killed by that wind, so yeah. wind's been tricky today. I love how he's unhappy with this. Purdy putts, I'm doing jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, you know? splits, somersaults, That's, you that's why he does what he does, and we do what we do. Right. Let's just get this there and give it a chance. Oh! <laughs> wow. I mean, it's just like Velcro. Yep. These are not greens. Now these greens owe you two. Hey, okay. <laughs> Man, I thought I hit that hard enough too. Dang it. All right, last part five. What are you looking at there? Shooting the trees. Um, last time I played here, my drive could only go kind of equal to those bunkers, but now I can send it over them. And the wind's howling off the left, so it's pushing me into those trees. But if I wanted to avoid that, I have to start it over the out of bounds. So again, just trying to draw up a plan in my head of how I want to play this hole. The best way would be a nice tight draw down the right side, but I, I like playing a fade, and I think I'm just gonna start over the left side and just play my fade back in the middle. And that's the bailout. Uh, kick left. Oh boy. Might be right behind the tree and it might be okay, so. What do you think, you still like your prediction? Still like it. I'm, I'm upset about the uh, the last hole's par. You know, with where he was coming in. I thought for sure, whoa, uh, that he was gonna have about a three footer for birdie and make it, so. I still like two more. I think he's gonna make one a year. And on the next hole, I think we're going birdie, birdie here. Okay. Yeah. Tough break. Yeah, well, bad shot. So, didn't deserve to be uh, in a good spot. I mean, I could hit I mean, yeah, that, that would be dumb. I'm just gonna chip this out and try to get close to the wedge. Okay. Okay. Weird for us to put the clubs away and just kind of uh, watch. I don't, know I, I don't know if I like it or not. I know. I'm jealous, I wanna play, it's beautiful out. Well, we are playing tomorrow. I'm definitely itching to play <laughs> with the same token. I'm sitting back, I'm learning a lot. Just learning a lot, today. I know, yeah. I know. So 125 shot, 130 shot. 
call 130. Little knockdown pitching wedge, just left of it, let it bleed down to the right. Give ourselves a good look at birdie. All right. Bleed right. <laughs> short again. Yeah. I've been short on, I think, I mean, every shot. Can't get it there. Can't it's like it impossible there. to hit it hard enough here. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah. Oh. All right, 16th hole, we have three to go. James is still four under. Uh, overall, he's playing well, but I could see where, you know, the par fives made him struggle today. Those are the holes that he should have made uh, birdie, maybe even eagle looks, and he's only one under through the four par fives today. So if you asked him which ones you would you want back, I'm sure he's gonna tell you the par fives. Uh, scoring holes, he didn't actually score on them. So he's definitely left a lot of strokes out there on those holes, but we've got three to go. I mean, this is a very short par four. Maybe he can make some magic here. Uh, the next par three is uh, kind of dicey. I don't know if he's gonna do anything special there, maybe. And then par four, uh, dog like left 18 to go into the clubhouse, which doesn't really suit his shot shape. He doesn't really play a draw. So I'm curious on how he's gonna attack that. A lot of danger on the right. So the last two holes could be dicey. Let's see how James attacks it. Yeah. Yeah. Go left. It'll be fine. Okay. okay. Thank you. Oh, Thanks. I know we're not diving too much into who James is out here, but we did a whole podcast with him this morning. So go to our other channel, The Golf Podcast, check it out. We'll put the link in the description below. We dove deep into James and what he's been going through, the grind, the tour grind, his life, who he is, where he came from, all the great stuff. Go check it out. It was a great interview. We had a lot of fun. Go in. Oh, gave it a try, man. He gave it a look. Are you kidding? Ooh. Wow. All right, birdie, there it is. All right, five under, folks, two to go, let's go. Dang, I thought I made that I one. know, I thought you had it too. Oh, that was so <laughs> sad. <laughs> so close. That gets us to five. Yeah, see, I told you, we're gonna get it. <laughs> gonna I get don't know about this hole, it's a tricky part three. But hey, then again, I don't know, man. He just stops it close, man. He can prove me wrong and go seven under, who knows? <laughs> who knows? All right, 184, I'm playing 193. Wind should be here. So down off the left, take this thing right at it, play a 185 shot and when should take it back to the 193. Let's try to get a pin high, come on. Looks darn good. Oh, the wind's just knocking it out of the air. It's short, but it's, I mean, on the green. Let's we'll see if we got any roll. Right. We're up it. there. This green looks great. Hopefully it's not magically faster than the rest yeah, of the Yeah, I know, right? 10 feet by, this but. one green on the course is running at a 12. <laughs> it looks fantastic. <laughs> it, this green looks, it looks great. Yeah. Right to left the whole way, up the hill. All right, let's knock this in. Come on. Oh. oh! I thought you had it. Oh. Hey, you got it there. I was my one goal. Yep. Jeez. Right. Dang, dude. Yeah, I know. Man. The audience saying six under from about five holes ago. You're five under, one to go. Tricky little par four. Yep. I mean, they have a middle pin, front pin with a good drive. You could probably get something pretty close. So. It's a great drive. Um, it's a little short wedge shot in. So yeah, again, it's a tricky drive because the wind's off the left and I need to start it, I mean, over this tree, but I can't really hit it over that tree. So I got to try to hit a pretty straight ball. Okay. Um, I like to hit a fade, like we've been saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a tough hole for guys who don't play the draw. But it's all right. I, mean, I think we're gonna hit a good one here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start it right that left bunker and have it bleed just to the right side of the fairway and have a little chip up the hill. So Love that's it. the plan. Here we go. It all comes down to this. Yeah. Okay. Should be good. I think you're yeah. good. Hit it, hit it where I want to. All right, here I thought James was just gonna kind of put it out here and have like 180 left, but instead he decided to absolutely nuke the ball. He's got what, 46 left? 46 yards. Uh, again, just up and over. It should land pretty soft. Try to give some good look at it. I've never seen in all of my years growing up and playing this golf course, of all the good golfers I've played with, I've never seen anyone hit it this far over here. It's like abnormal. Nope. Sit, 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 sit
Let's go. It's got a downhill putt. It's tricky as James is lining this putt up, guys. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. Go give him a follow. Check him out, Instagram, TikTok. Guy's all over the map. He plays some of the best courses in the world. It's great content and great follow. And go watch him on tour. I mean, show him some love. And now we're going to sit back and see if this guy can get it to six under here at Spook Rock. I feel like this could get away from me. It oh, looks yeah. like it's like this, but again. Doesn't look I, easy. <laughs> was, I've left a lot of putts short, so this should help me get it to the hole. Okay. I like that confidence. All right. I see the break right here. Yeah, it's definitely going to break from his left to right, from our right to left. Wow. Oh! Oh, I got some work now. I got it to the hole though, so. You did get it to the hole. That was the goal. I wasn't worried about the next one. Uphill, slight right, left. Ooh. All right, James. Good round, man. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Five under. Thanks for having that me. So cool. That was awesome. I appreciate it, yeah. yeah. I enjoyed it. I mean, it could have been better, but hey. that's golf. I beat myself in the blue tees in the qualifier I played here, but it's okay. That's golf. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. That's right. It was fun watching you play today. That was awesome. Thanks, boys.